next topic of discussion is deletion of a node from a linked list. More importantly, deletion of the head node from the linked list. So here on the board we have an example of a singly linked list with the, each node having value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and terminating in null. And it has a head pointer. As you must remember, head pointer is the entry to the list. If you lose the head pointer if, or if your head pointer points to some garbage value, it's as good as not having the list. So let's start, get on with deletion of one of the nodes. So say I want to delete the node with value 3. So just take a moment here and think what you really want at the end of the day. I mean what you want from the deletion. So what you want is your 2 to say my neighbor is 4 and bypass 3. That's all. So how do you do that? Say my, there's a current pointer pointing to node 3 and there is a previous pointer pointing to the previous of my current node which is 2. So what do you have to do? Saying my previous is next should be my 4 and not 3. So how do you write it? Previous next, next is equal to c dot next and you go and free c. Why do you need c? To get c dot next because that is the only reference to 4 and why do you need p? Because p is next is what you are going to assign and then you can free c. So that is done. Now let us consider the edge cases. One edge case is deletion of a tail. So if you want to delete 5, it's as good as considering this as current node, this as previous node and moving the previous dot next to the current dot next which is null and then you can free 5. So uh, this code works for the tail case. And let us go back to the other end which is deletion of the head. Now head is a little tricky because there is no previous. So you might say that hey, why don't I just delete free head saying deleting this node. But the problem is the gate of your link list, the entry pointer for link list which is the head pointer is now pointing to a dangle. It is not pointing to anything, it is pointing to a garbage value. So even though this list is stored neatly in somewhere in your memory, you won't be able to read it. So what you need to do is point your head to your new to be head which is the node 2 and then you are good to go. And then you can free this. So, But it is important to note that to free this you need to store a this location of 1 in some temporary pointer. Let's see how and why. So if I realize that head is the one uh, which equals the value I want to delete, that means I want to delete head, I assign head to a temporary variable and move head to head dot next which is 2 and then you can go and free temp. Why did I do this step? Because if I simply move, if I remove this line, I simply move head to head dot next. How do I free one? How do I call this step? Which is crucial because if you don't free memory, you will, you will eventually run out of memory, right? From the system. So it's a memory leak. So first, so before you move head, you have to point a temporary pointer to the position where head is pointing. So you have a location of one secure. Now move your head to 2 and then free temp. So, so the important thing in deleting head is to make sure that you point your head pointer to the right value and just and don't free and not free head just like that simply. So that is the difference and hence you have to be careful when you delete the head node. Thanks.